how to make a forever deck out of wood when you're dealing with wood. Because wood will rot even if it's treated over time. Most of this deck that you see, all that upper part, all that, is a little bit over 20 years old now. I haven't hardly, I've had to replace a couple boards. See, got that to do. Steps take a lot of, of abuse. I got some that started rotting out a couple years ago. I dug out the rot, put a metal rod in, and that keeps you from falling through. But those are up and due to be replaced. Aside from needing a power wash, I painted about every three or four years. I use a uh, spray painter on a lattice. That's the quickest way to get her done. But this is one of the tricks to keeping a deck going is don't go bare wood. Seal that, seal that dog. Seal it up good. ASAP and then apply sealant. Oh, every three or four years. Now on this new section, stage two, the gazebo, uh, I got more money in my pocket and being disabled, I got a bit more time. Ideally, you paint the wood before you even cut it, All right? Now you don't really have to bother to paint the ends of most of it because the ends, the ends are usually get whacked off, cut off. And what you do is you touch it up after you cut, but the rest of the board was painted before it was ever cut just like them two by fours there just like all this if you do this and I'm giving it about two coats of the show you what I use I ain't get this ain't I ain't getting paid for this but way on back about 25 30 years ago when paint was cheap or this was cheap I used the uh, bare white primer on my house in on this deck all right and uh, I didn't need to paint and that stuff lasted 10 15 years easy a lot of all this lattice it was painted just about 20 years ago and I ain't needed to paint it since using the bare paint so you know yeah the prices went up when I first got it, it was about $20 a gallon now we're up to 35 it might have been 17 18 a gallon for just the plain primer i did my whole house up in it and it lasted forever but if you want a deck to last paint your lumber prior to installing it and the deck boards themselves you know, depending, it depends on the money and the time. If you ain't got the money, hey, I understand that. When I built that big dog, I didn't paint it. I painted it after because I didn't have enough money for all that paint. But this, I'm going to hit the top of this wood with that waterproofing sealer, primer, whatever you want to call it. And this is the top of the deck boards. I leave the underside unpainted so the wood can breathe because if moisture gets trapped in the wood at least it can it can breathe out through the bottom where the rain don't collect now you could paint the whole board but it's a little bit of overdue overkill and i doubt i'm going that far because uh i am in a limited budget but anyway right if you want a deck glass Paint it before you begin. Then all you got left when you're done is touch up paint where the fasteners went, touch up on, on corners that was cut. And when it's done, I run around with a little brush and hit little pencil marks and scabs and scars, and that'll be that. So remember, if you want a forever deck, seal and paint that wood first then do your carpentry, build the SOB, then go back, touch up all the spots you missed or damaged. And your deck will last, 
Well, like I say, this big one, I didn't even do as good a paint job as I am on this. And it's 20 years and going, and going strong. I inspected it just a couple days ago. Ain't a bit of rot except them for a few floorboards on, on the top that you saw and down here at the steps to get all the abuse. Anyway, y'all have fun. Be careful out there. Don't hurt yourself. As you can tell, I'm going to be busy. Get her done.